Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up an Apache web server on Ubuntu hosted on AWS. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Amazon and from here you want to create a new EC2 virtual machine. So for that simply click on continue to subscribe. After that, you would be brought to this page from where you can validate your subscription and once you're done, you can click on continue to configuration. Now from this page, you can choose your AMI, choose the software version, the latest version is 0.0.2 and you can choose the region where you want to deploy your virtual machine. After that, simply click on continue to launch. Now there are two options available to either launch the virtual machines using the EC2 management console or from the website. This time around, I'm going to go with the website. So scroll down and choose the instance type according to your requirements. By default, it is set to t2.medium. After that, choose an already existing VPC setting. If you do not have one, simply create one. After that, go with the default subnet settings. Scroll down even more and make sure that the security group setting is set to Apache web server and the version is 0.0.2 since that is the version we chose from the marketplace. And then choose a key pair by either creating a new key pair or by choosing an already existing one. Remember that this is the key pair that you would be using to connect to the SSH terminal of your virtual machine. After that, when you're satisfied with the settings, simply click on launch. And then it prompts you that an instance of this software was successfully deployed on EC2. Now you can go to the EC2 management console to view and to connect to the virtual machine. So simply click on this option that says EC2 console. This should open up the EC2 management console in a new tab. Now in here, your newly created virtual machine is still in the pending state. You can give a name to your virtual machine by clicking on this icon right over here and then typing in the name as Apache. After that, we want to connect to the SSS terminal of our virtual machine. So for that, simply click on the virtual machine, then right click and click on connect and then switch to SSH client tab. Now in here, you can see this particular command. You need to copy this command and paste it inside either a command prompt or a PowerShell and then you want to replace this path within the quotation marks for the path where you downloaded your private key. After replacing the path to the private key, simply hit enter and you will be prompted then type in yes and then hit enter once more. After that, you would be able to log into the SSH terminal of your newly created virtual machine. Now inside this virtual machine, the very first thing that you want to do is that you want to change the root user's password for MySQL. Now by default, it comes with a particular password and you want to change that. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this blog post on how to set up Apache on AWS. From here, you want to copy this command and paste it inside the SSH terminal. After that, it is going to ask you for the current root password. So type in MySQL1234. After that, you would be able to log into MySQL shell and then go back to the blog post, copy the last two lines of this code and paste them inside the SSH terminal. But before that, remember that this is the password that you're giving to the root user. So if you want to give a different password, simply replace this text with your password. So paste it inside the SSH terminal and then hit enter. Now you might want to create a new user for accessing and managing your database. For that, simply go to blog post and scroll down and simply copy all of these commands. And this is the username that you're giving to the new user. And this is the password. So make sure to replace these fields with your desired one and then paste them inside the SSH terminal. After that, to manage and access the databases, we can access the PHP my admin portal for that simply go back to EC2 management console and from here you want to go back one step and then click on your virtual machine and then copy the public IP address and paste it inside a new tab and after that follow it up by PHP my admin. So this is going to open up the PHP my admin portal for your virtual machine. Now in here you can use the credentials for the new user that you have created or for the root user. So I'm going to go with the root users and log in to my PHP my admin portal. So as you can see, this is the PHP my admin GUI interface for managing and accessing the databases. So we have databases, SQL, status, user accounts, and so much more to manage and access our database. Anyways, let's move on with the tutorial. So the next step is that we want to add a website to Apache web server. For that, simply exit from MySQL shell by typing in the command quit and then type in sudo lamp and then add. After that, it is going to ask you for the server name for your website. This can be the name of the website as well. So I'm going to call it test. After that, 
it is going to ask you if you want to keep the default directory as test or you want to give a different name to the default root directory. I'm going to go with the default one. So simply hit enter. After that, it is going to ask you for the administrator's email address. So I'm going to type in test at test.com. Make sure to type in a valid email address. After that, it is going to ask us if you want to create a database and user with the same name. So you can go with either no and yes. I'm just going to go with yes and it is going to ask me for my current MySQL root password which I know is this one. And then it is going to ask me what is the database name that I want to give for this particular website. So I'm going to call it SDB since my website name is test. After that, it is asking us to set a password specifically for this database. So I'm going to give this password here. And then it is asking us if we want to add an SSL certificate using Let's Encrypt. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to go with no and then hit enter. After that, you have successfully added a new website to your Apache web server. To view this, simply type in the command cd, then data, then www and then hit enter. In here, you want to type in the command ls and then hit enter. As you can see, this directory test has been added to our Apache web server. Anyways, that was it for this tutorial. If you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. And make sure to check out the link in the description box for the Amazon marketplace listing and for the step by step blog post guide. And if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.